In this video, we're going to write a C++ program to replace a specific line in a file. So here I have a file with five lines of text in it. I want the program to prompt the user for the file name, the line number, and the replacement text. And if the user enters in file.txt and line number three and replacement text, some text, then this line here should be replaced with some text. So let's write a C++ program to solve this problem. We'll have the program read every line of the file and store it into a vector. Then we'll write the line stored in the vector back to the file. Except for in the case of the replacement line, we're going to replace it with the replacement text. So the first thing we'll do is include the fstream library so that we can access files. We'll also include the string library because we're going to work with strings. And we'll include vector because our solution is going to involve a vector. Then we'll create variables to store the file name, replacement text, and line number. So we'll have string file name, string text, and int line number, where text is going to store the replacement text and line number is going to store the line number. Then we'll prompt the user to enter in the file name. So we'll have C out file colon, and we'll use get line with C in and file name as arguments and the string that the user enters into standard input is going to be stored into the file name string. Then we'll prompt the user to enter the replacement text. So we'll have C out text colon. And again, we'll use get line with C in and text as arguments. And the string the user enters is going to be stored into the text variable. And then finally, we'll prompt the user to enter the line number. So we'll have C out line colon, and then we'll use C in to store what the user enters into the line number variable. Next, we can open the file. We'll create an fstream type object to help us read the lines from the file. We'll have fstream read underscore file because we're going to read from the file. Then we'll have read underscore file dot open and we're going to open the file with the given file name. Now, this could fail. Maybe the file doesn't exist, for example. If that's the case, we'll detect that with the fail method. So if read underscore file dot fail is true. Something has gone wrong when opening the file. And in that case, we're going to output error opening file followed by an inline. And we're going to return one. We're going to return one instead of returning zero because returning one is a signal to the shell, to the terminal, that something has gone wrong in the execution of our program. Now that we've opened the file successfully, we can read all the lines of the file and store them into a vector. So we'll create a vector to store strings and we'll call it lines because it's going to store the lines of the file. We'll also create a string variable called line and line is going to store each individual line that we read from the file. We're going to use get line to read each line from the file. So we'll have while get line and this time instead of cn we're going to be reading from the file. So we're going to have read underscore file as the first argument and line as the second argument. So this loop is going to execute and it's going to read each line from the file again and again, and it's going to store the result into the line string variable. We're going to take that string and we're going to add it to the vector. So we're going to have lines dot push underscore back line. So every time this loop executes, is going to read the line from the file. Then we're going to use the pushback method of our vector. And we're going to store that line as the next element in the vector. Now, eventually get line is not going to be able to read the next line because the file will end. At that point, the loop is going to stop. Now that we're done reading the lines from the file, we can close our access to the file. We should also check to make sure the line number that the user wants to replace is actually in the file. So the vector now stores an element for each line in the file. It's possible that the user wants to replace a line that doesn't exist. So if the user wants to replace line seven in this file, there is no line seven. There's only five lines. In that case, we should output an error message. So we'll have if the line number the user wants to replace is greater than lines.size, the size of our vector, which is the number of lines in the file. If that's the case, we'll output 
line and the line number and then not in file followed by an end line and then we'll output how many lines are actually in the file so we'll have file has and we'll output the number of lines that are actually in the file by outputting the size of the vector followed by lines period and an end line and again we're going to return one to exit the program with an error status now we'll create an of stream object to actually open the file for writing so we'll have of stream write underscore file and when we open the file for writing it's going to make the file blank so we'll essentially be recreating the file and we'll check to see if there was an error opening the file with the fail method so if this is true we'll output error opening file followed by an inline and again we're going to return one to exit with an error status so now we're going to actually write all the lines stored in the vector back to the file except for that one special line number in the case of that line number we're going to write the replacement text to the file instead now vectors in c are zero indexed which means that line one is going to be stored at index zero line two is going to be stored at index one line three is going to be stored at index two and so on but the user is going to enter in one to replace line number one two to replace line number two and so on so what we'll do is decrement line number by one so that line number is going to refer to the correct element in the vector because we stored the lines in the vector one line at a time one after the other so line one is stored at index zero line two is stored at index one and so on next we'll create a for loop to go through each vector element and write it to the file so we'll have for int i is equal to zero i is less than lines dot size i plus plus so we're going to use the counter variable i to help us go through the vector one element at a time and we'll also use i to help us identify when we've reached the line number that we want to replace so if i is not equal to the line number that we want to replace then in that case we're just going to write the line stored in the vector at the index i to the file followed by an end line otherwise if i is equal to the line number that we do want to replace then we're going to write to the file the replacement text followed by an end line so in this loop we're going through our vector of lines and we're writing them all back to the file except for this special one this one here where i actually does equal the line number that we want to replace we're going to write the replacement text to the file instead of the old line and this decrement here of line number was just to make the line number in alignment with the index for that line number in the vector because vectors are zero indexed which means line number one is at index zero line number two is at index one and so on finally we can close our access to the file so we'll have write underscore file dot close and now we can test our program out so we'll save it and we'll compile our program and then we'll run it i'll enter in file.txt new line three for the replacement text and we're going to replace line number three and if we check with the file line number three has been replaced with new line three if i try to replace a line in the file that doesn't exist like let's say line number six then i get this error message line six not in file file has five lines so we're handling this case okay as well so this is how we can replace a specific line in a file using c check out portfoliocourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers